This is Boise, Idaho, Bigfoot as he goes Boy, he's in. disappearing into the woods. He's retreating into the woods, as you say. Yes, yes. Just like somebody that's been in the news quite a bit, George Zimmerman, he's retreating. George Zimmerman, last year, was acquitted of murder. How, how are you comparing George Zimmerman to Bigfoot? George Zimmerman and Bigfoot? Come on. What are you talking about? Bigfoot's retreating, George Zimmerman's retreating. Oh, good God. George Zimmerman is um, having financial troubles. Recently, he was going to be in a, um, a celebrity match. I don't know how you call him a celebrity, but he's going to be in a celebrity boxing match with DMX, the rap star. Yeah. And DMX was going to, um, you know, is, is fighting for the side of Trayvon Martin, and George Zimmerman is defending himself. I mean, how do you not relate George Zimmerman to Bigfoot? I don't relate to George Zimmerman and Bigfoot at all, but okay, so so George Zimmerman... Well, George Zimmerman doesn't have a place to live. Bigfoot doesn't have a place to live. George so, Zimmerman's uh, having tr- financial trouble. Bigfoot's got no money. So People are, are taking advantage of Bigfoot. People are making money on Bigfoot's name, and Bigfoot's getting no recognition. He's not getting any of the money. Okay, so there's a lot of companies, let's say, that, that use... That there's Sasquatch... What was it called? It's Bigfoot Coffee, I think there there's was? There's a Bigfoot Coffee. They're ripping Bigfoot off. Come I've, on. I've seen a Bigfoot watch, you know, a big oversized watch that people wear. You've got to be kidding me. And uh, Everything has got Bigfoot on I think it's called a Sasquatch. I literally, you know... Like, oh, that's classic. But, what about the Bigfoot beef jerky? Yeah. I mean, come on. Okay, well, I mean, until there's a body, for example. Look, if George Zimmerman and the rap star DMX Look. could do a celebrity boxing match, why can't we get Bigfoot and, you know, let's say one of these other uh, heavy-duty guys, you know, one of the, wait, how about a weightlifter or somebody that could, you know, they want to take on versus Bigfoot. Why can't we get that kind of a celebrity boxing match? I think match they got to capture one first. I don't know why they can't capture him. A thing that, something that big lurking in the forest... Is there that much open, unexplored forest? I mean, really? I think it's mostly inexperienced trackers is the problem. That's got to be 100% of it. Going back to the Boise, Idaho Bigfoot here, somewhere like Boise, Idaho might not be an area that there is densely populated in as in, let's say, in, in Washington area, or California area, or Oregon area. There's obviously less of them. In Boise, Idaho, there's less of them? Yeah, and I'm kind of thinking, like, what about areas like Kansas and Massachusetts, they, where they don't have any big forests, but they do have Bigfoot, and... And it's a lot harder for them to hide. So, it's a lot harder for them to hide, but there's fewer of them. So they're a hell of a lot smarter in an area where they've got to be on their toes well, constantly. I just think you stand an equal chance at getting a photo of a Bigfoot, even capturing a Bigfoot, in an area that is very densely deep forest as opposed to an area that's Kansas. If you've got or, a pocket full of bacon, you've got a great chance or, or, of capturing. Or like, like Kansas or Maine, because Kansas or Maine, for example, doesn't have any great forests, but they have less Bigfoot. Now, places like Washington or Vancouver have humongous forests, but they have a lot more Bigfoot. So you stand an equal chance in either area finding a Bigfoot. It doesn't matter if it's a, if it's a place that's a so huge forest. So if you're forest. looking for Bigfoot, it doesn't matter where you're looking, you have an equal chance. I would say so. The giant forests that are massive areas to explore have more Bigfoot. The smaller areas have less Bigfoot. So it all bounces out in the end.